Hi guys, how are you? Here is a very interesting question. There is an aldehyde which has a chiral center at alpha carbon and which is treated with a silyl uh, allyl silane in presence of a Lewis acid. So the product X and Y is formed. We have to determine whether only X will be formed or only Y will be formed or between X and Y which one will be the major product if both will form so this reaction is actually a name reaction called sakurai alkylation reaction sakurai alkylation reaction in this reaction what happened the general mechanism the general reaction is like this a keto ketone which will be treated with an allyl silane in presence of a Lewis acid Lewis acid the product will be this will be the product and if it occur in an alpha beta unsaturated ketone like this in terms of a Lewis acid then what will happen it will attack at this position and one pore addition will take place so the product will be it will be double bond O here So, 3 carbon will be, number of carbon will be increased to 3, there will be a R here. So, this is the general mechanism of this, uh, general reaction of Sakura alkylation reaction. The mechanism can be uh, described like this. Here. A Lewis acid like Ti TiCl4 taken. So it will coordinate with this Lewis acid. Now, this is the nucleophile, it will attack to this carbon, SIME3 here if it attack with this pi bond then there will be a positive charge here now the Cl- minus which eliminate here will attack to this silicon and there will be a pi bond here so Now, if it is work up with water, then it will be converted to OH. Sorry.
so this will be the product now one for addition will also take place in this case as the same way now we'll go to our question that is if in this abstract this is treated with this then this nucleophile will attack to this carbonyl group and it will convert it to OH and it will be attached to there now we have to determine the stoichiometry whether the CH3 and OH will be on the same side or in the opposite side now here as there is an alpha carbon atom a chiral center at alpha carbon so there uh, there will be an asymmetric interaction here and the nucleophile will may, may attack in this carbonyl from both the side but not from equal proportion so this can be determined with the help of cramps rule according to cramps rule if according to cramps rule if with an uh, carbonyl group if in chiral carbon there is a small medium and large group then it will have a specific conformation from which the addition reaction will take place in which the large group will be anti periplanar to this carbonyl group that is for such system the most stable conformation will be like this L here here if we see this from you know, this point of view then it will it will be above the plane and it is below the plane so that, that will be right and that that will be left so the medium will be on right and it will be left so this is the stable conformation from which the addition reaction will take place in which the large group will be anti periplanar to this carbonyl group now in our case our substrate was this so here is a pH CH3 and a hydrogen is there so this is large this is medium this is small so the preferred conformation from which the reaction will take place will be the phenyl will be here and here as you can see that CH3 is above the plane and hydrogen is below the plane as here medium is above the plane hydrogen is below the plane so CH3 will be in right and hydrogen will be left now from this confirmation the nucleophile nucleophile may attack from this side as well as this side now as there is a small group so here the attack the probability of attack will be much higher and here there is a medium group so between these two this one is large so when the nucleophile will attack here it will feel some larger steric, uh, severe, some greater steric crowding than this side so the nucleophile preference will attack from this smaller group so here the nucleophile will generally uh, mainly attack from this side and this product will be the the corresponding product will be the major product so first we will draw both this product now if the nucleophile attack from this side then it will be OH so it will be OH here will be the nucleophile and it will be the hydrogen here the pH CH3 H 
this will be the a at a product let's say this is x this is x and if the nucleophile attack from this side that is y attack then the corresponding product will be so here it will be oh nucleophile will be here and here will be the hydrogen and all rest of the groups will remain as usual so this is the y now we can see that here the nucleophile is actually a allyl group so we can represent it the nucleophile is actually an allyl group so we can represent it like this which this is the nucleophile ph is 3 h and here also which nucleophile h ph is 3 h now between these two if we compare here you can see that in this product the ph and this nucleophile are in extended form where the ch3 and oh are on the same side so if we extend the ph and this nucleophile then we have to rotate this if we rotate this ph into here sorry we will we'll rotate this ph into there so h o h here the ph so this h3 will be here it will be h now you can see that if this nucleophile and ph are in extended form then the ch3 or oh on the same side so the product x in which the ch3 and oh are on the same side in the extended form of ph uh, and this nucleophile this product will be the major product this product will be the major product and another product in which that is the ph and this if we draw this in another way where these two are in extended form so h o h ph let's say we rotate this car this uh, back carbon into 120 degrees so ph will be here the hydrogen will be here and uh, ph will be here hydrogen will be here and ch3 will be sorry hydrogen will be here ch3 will be here now you can see that at the extended form OH and the CH3 that are in opposite direction that is one above and one below the plane. So this product will be the minor product. Again I am telling that the nucleophile may attack from both this side but as from attack from this side will be sorry nucleophile may attack into this carbonyl carbon from both this side but attack from this side will be preferentially uh, major attack because the hydrogen here is a uh, less uh, smaller size than ch3 so when it will attack the uh, steady crowding will be less 
so this will be the major product so in our question x will be the major product and this will be formed predominantly so guys if you have any doubt regarding this video please let me know in comment box and to get such interesting videos subscribe my channel thank you have a good day